What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. We're doing another tradition. Wait, what? Oh, I was like, where'd it go? Traditional arena cube draft. Right here. Save the biscuit for your trisket. And the salami for your mommy. That's what I always say. In fact, I say it too frequently, I, 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 would, I would think. I have like 200 mythics or something. That's a lot. That's a lot. It's more than you should have. I paused it for those YouTube viewers. So you guys, if you guys are looking for a great subscription service for Magic Online, definitely check out Mana Traders. If you guys are trying to play Pioneer or Historic or Modern, any of those sweet formats, and uh, you don't want to buy full decks, um, they have a great subscription service. You should check out ManaTraders.com. The link and promo code is down below, and you'll get 15% off for the first couple months. It's a great deal and a great, great service. Um, I kind of like Karn here. I also like Thrix, the Sudden Storm. Shut mm. up and take my money. Oh, Sammy, one cube good stuff buck. Sammy, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you, Sammy. Sammy. I'm going to take Karn. I think it's probably the best card in this pack. Let me see. Lois, Talk Sick. Delmar Man, Thunder Totem, Zoo Mycalis, there's me, Neck Tanibus, and then there's the Antibody. Two packs away. Man, I'm really loving that I, I, I extended the chat. Like, look at the Magic Online one. And let me put it all the way up for you. Okay, I'm doing things that I, I, don't, I don't mean to be doing. But then look at the Arena one. Wait, oh, it's it's going to be the same on all of them because it shares the same. Oh, that, that's great. Now I don't have to change it individually and everything. Oh, that's fantastic. This Chandra has impressed me. And, and the, the, the funny thing is I've only used the plus the second plus one. I've only been like shocking things every turn. But the fact that she starts at five and goes up to six, then seven, then eight, like I, I, I think it's actually she's very good. Vranith, you're in here too? Are you Neck Tanibus? I kind of just want to take I kind of just want to take Chandra here. Uh, you bet I'm passionate about pyromancy. You bet I am. Oh, Sublime Epiphany? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, there's no good red card in here that I like that goes with these two. I kind of like Sublime Epiphany. Oh, also, Riverglide Pathway is decent. Nah, I'm taking the Epiphany. Epiphany's just such a strong card that I just want to make it work. Trium, interesting. Um, I think I want to take the Temple of Deceit. I think I kind of like Grixis. Lean, 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 lean. I'm going to just keep saying words and hope they work. Pack one, pick one, Niv-Mizzet is awesome, and you're a super... Oh, God, I want to try this again so bad. I just take Chromatic Ori. I really like it. I really think it's a sweet card, and I kind of like building around it. It's either that or Hostage Taker. And, like, come on. Just, come on. We're not here to... We're not here to putz around here. I do like a Bedevil. Let's try the Chromatic Ori, but let's try it with fewer colors, I think. Search for Escanta is decent. Massacre Room is a fat turd of a card that can just win games out of nowhere. Hmm. Um, it might be Search. I mean, technically, if you're if you're considering things like this, costs this only costs two mana, right? Because if you have like eight mana. It's gonna it's gonna cost seven, but then you're gonna get five back, so you can cast like a six drop, you know. 
I kind of like Chainer's Edict here. All these green, all these green lands, man. I mean, I'll just take Stomping Ground because it's very good. And I don't know. I don't know what we're going to end up with. Could have had a Hostage Taker that would have made our blue black deck really good. But instead, we took a Chromatic Ori, which seems real sweet, so I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like a dark petition in that sense, right? Like, I mean, if you if you have the uh, the spell mastery for it, you're paying five, but you're getting three back. So really, it's like you only have to subtract two, or uh, yeah, subtract two from like whatever you want to do. Well, that hostage taker is looking great in my wow. I feel like we're colluding right now. It's making me uncomfortable. Oh, oh, interesting. Start finish is white. Yeah, I'll take the land. I mean, we're they're setting us up to be four color, no white, right? Like that's what we're that's what we're looking at here. <laughs> Fly me to the moon. When you get a chance, can you tell what's on MTG right now? Is it's it's Supreme Vintage Draft. Supreme Vintage Keep. Oh, Riverglide Pathway came back. That was nice. Oh, Savai Triome came back. God, it's like they want me to play three colors, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Woodland Cemetery. Done. Wow. Uh, Lay Claim? Oh, yeah. That's a banger in this format. Is that any fun? I, do, I personally don't enjoy it very much. I'll just wait till the Vintage Cube is up next week. Oh, Chromatic Lantern? Oh, boy. That's the ticket. I mean, it's got to be Chromatic Lantern in a deck like this, right? I think we also want a lot of two-mana removal because you don't want to hit three and have nothing to do before then. Too bad Supreme is kind of sealed and seals... Is, it's not even sealed. It's sealed with 18 packs instead of six where all the packs contain have the potential to contain multiple pieces of power. Like, it's not... Lantern does slap you right? <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. Well, we got Temple and Glacial Fortress in the same pack, so that's interesting. Um, Skewer the Critics is likely going to be three mana every single time. Um, I don't think we're a collected company deck. I don't really love any of these cards. I mean, I don't. I don't think. I think it's actually. I would take Brain Maggot over Sailor. I think because it's more disruptive. But our fixing is kind of interesting right now. See, the reason is I think we're gonna have so much to do with our mana anyway that like. I think Disfigure is probably the pick here. Or Pillar of Flame. But I do feel like we're heavier. I'm going to start making a list of our mana right now. White, blue, black, red, green. And I'm also going to reserve... Actually, Essence Scatter is probably the pick, right? Yeah, let's take Essence Scatter. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be white, but I will, t I will uh, tally it up anyway. Blue sources we have... One, two... So only two. Black sources, we have one, two, three. And red sources, we have one, two, three, four. Green sources, we have three. Okay, so this should make it easier toward the end so I don't have to do this all at once. I think Mythos is actually pretty decent here. Um, yeah, I like Mythos. It, it copies one of their big things. It gets a fight out of the way. 
whatever it gets a fight out of the way means. Uh, I kind of like escape. Oh, I actually saw him simulacrum seems seems bananas. Is it better than escape to the wilds? I don't actually know. I'm going to assume so because I think we're going to have enough ways to draw cards. What I really want is ways to fix my mana and ramp. So, uh, this actually might be Temple of Malice. I don't think we're a Rich Cards expertise deck. Tristani's fine, but I don't want to have a white and a green when those might be our least represented colors. Yeah, I'm going to take the Temple of Malice. Puts our red up to five, black up to four. Vastwood Surge is okay. Um, actually, Ominous Seas might be a legit win condition for our deck. Hmm. Robots are cool. <laughs> and it cycles. Yeah, I'll take Ominous Seas. Sure, why not? We can go anywhere with this card. We can go anywhere. Dude, Slither Blade being in this cube is super weird. It's one of the only cards I've been like, but why? Uh, I kind of just like opt. I know it's unexciting, but... Electro Dominance would be much sweeter if we had... Um... I gotta take these guys out after this. Um, it would be much sweeter if we had... Like, Ancestral Vision and things in the cube. I think it's just Blood for Bones. I'm not excited about it, but it could be decent if we get enough creatures for it. Oh, Skewer the Critics actually might be fine. Spectral Sailor also came back. Hmm. The Spinach and Strawberry Jam Sandwich without the bread. I'm going to take Skewer. Uh, I'd rather just have the removal. And, oh, Disfigure came back. That's actually pretty sweet. I think it's probably better than winged words. And I'm not going to take a white. I think Hunter's got to go. I think he's got to go OUT. None of these are very good. I'll take Shadow Spear. Oh, Escape came back? Holy crap, that was really nice. I'm going to take Divine Visitation because if you're letting it go 14th pick, you don't deserve it. And Song is probably not going to get played by us either. I think Into the Royal seems great here. I mean, Domri's also fine. This mana doesn't look bad. Like, we're basically splashing Escape here. Yeah, I like Into the Royal here. Domri might even come back. He's not super impressive for people. I do like Treasure Map. I do like Midnight Clock. I think I like Midnight Clock better. It's We don't have any 3-drops, and it's a 3-drop that like can reset the game and also ramp us. Um, hmm. Spring to Mind is kind of cool. Let's freaking spawn. Hunter, stop! He's being real loud. Just chill out, bro. I'm gonna take Dryad. Dryad's basically like Chromatic Lantern number 2. Dryad of Lil Billy? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, Dragon Skull Summit and Silver Falls and Watery Grave? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm kind of hoping one of these two comes back. I'm definitely taking... Okay, so we have Temple. We have Sulfur. We have one of each. We have a blue, black, a blue, red, and a black, red. I'm going to take Watery Grave. I just think it's the best one of the three. Plus, we have a lot of black and blue early. Where I think, I think one of those might come back. How are we looking? 29 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 21. That's not too bad, actually. And I think all these are playable.
Oh, we uh, we got to up our our blue black count. Now we have three blue sources in our signboard and five black sources. <sighs> two Chandras, huh? Or uh, two two format planeswalkers is what I meant to say. Um, I think it's just Chandra. I think it's I think this one's better. You know how we win? We got Massacre Worm, bro. We got Lay Claim. We can shock their face for like a million years. Oh, we got Ominous Seas, obviously. Ominous Seas is our win con. A bear dirt. Bear dirt, 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 dirt. Oh my god, three Chandras? I actually would probably play this Chandra over Worm Coil. I think it makes our mana a little bit better. And we can always board Worm Coil in. Prophetic Prism is also real sweet in this deck. I think I'm gonna go with Chandra here. I'm Chandra, the immolation sensation. She? She liked it. Is my turn into a dragon stiff still in the queue? I mean it is. Uh, Zagoth Triumph seems pretty good here. Zagoth is up to four. Black is up to six. Green is up to four. Nice. But I don't know how we're going to get form of the dragon. That's really not in any other cubes is the thing. So we only have four blue lands, is that right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. That isn't worm coil. Did I say worm coil? <laughs> That's messy. That was warmest of me. Oh, botanical sanctum. It's not great. I like crackling Drake, actually. Um is anything earlier going to be better? It's probably Botanical Sanctum. Five green and now five blue. Temple Garden came back. That's Every card in this pack is terrible. So I'll take the Evolving Wilds, I guess. Okay. We discard one or more cards. Do we have anything like discarding cards? Not really. I'll just take the War Kite Marauder. I think we're in the I think we're scraping the bottom of the barrel here, guys. Spring to Mind's actually a pretty sweet late pickup here. Oh wow, they both come back? Holy crap. So we have less red. I think we're taking red blue. We have a lot of black right now. Yeah, that seems great. Wow, I can't believe they both came back. And a canyon slew. So we took red blue. So red goes up to six, blue goes up to six. And the prism came back and we took a canyon slew. Which was a black. So we got seven and seven. Wow, man, that's looking really good right now. We have six blue sources, seven black, seven red, and five green. Wow, we have a, and then we have three, four, five basics. All right. Well, our mana seems great. We have Prism, Lantern, Solemn, and a ton of fixing. Spring to Mind is also a three drop. Hmm. And just to double check our mana, I guess we can push this up. I really, I think everything that's in our deck is going to stay in our deck. Yeah, none of these cards are going to make the cut. So this is likely our deck. White doesn't matter. We're not playing any white cards. Blue, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. That is correct. 
Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Red, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven as well. Green, we have one, two, three, four, five. Yep, all right. So it was actually very helpful to uh, count these while we were going through. All right. So, I, yeah, there's no sort by color. It's weird that the right mouse button just does nothing. I can't sort by color. I, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So black, we have one, two, three, four, five. We actually don't have that much black, surprisingly. I think we're going to have two of one, and then we're going to have one of every land because we do have Solemn Simulacrum. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And green, we have one, two, three. Sure. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it's one of everything and then two blue. That's my guess. What? What the fuck? Oh, that's weird. I don't I don't know about all that. Um so we're gonna one, two, three, four. One, two. Three. Four. Oh, I do not have red highlighted. I was like, did I miss mountain again? Oh, we still have to cut something too. Jeez. <laughs> Dang it. I see, I maybe cut brain maggot. How do we win? That's the question. I think we're just hoping to, to, to kill them with Chandra's. Or Karn tokens. Oh, I'm gonna see. I forgot I'm gonna see was our I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Brain Maggot out. Alright. Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. You did not have to cut something. Cutting is for cowards. Man. Uh yeah, we're keeping this. Sometimes you want to go. Alright, I would like a three drop here and then a land. That's what we're looking for. We did hit a land, and they don't have much going on, so... Okay, I'm actually fine with just taking a hit here. I mean, if we can, we can go Solomon to Chandra, which is pretty sweet. And then we can play Ori into Escape or Karn. I mean, we have plans. Okay, no catcher's monument and nothing else. I like it. So what do we got? We got two black sources. We got two blue sources, three red sources, a green source. Oh yeah, take action. 
Uh, I think we just want a second green source. We have two of everything else. I mean, the nice thing is Chandra wipes out everything on the board. Like, all these creatures get killed by Chandra. And they get killed by her right now. So we take four, but, like, that's the end? we get to draw a card? Sure. Okay. It is Vigo! Y'all know Vigo, right? We don't have another land. We can play escape. Try to hit two lands and then play like skewer on something. I think I want to keep the survive triumph up instead. Hmm. Actually, no, we'll keep up the sulfur falls. Yeah. Oh, that's the exact one we didn't want to do. One, two. Yeah, this is like the perfect opportunity because we actually have uh, five lands to play. I'm pretty sure I'm just killing this guy. These are not knights, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just going to play Swamp, Botanical Sanctum, Disfigure the Knight. So now they can deal two. Uh, I'm going to keep up Next time we're just going to play both of these. That seems good. I, I don't need to opt right now. We're just going to save opt for Ominous C because it's a win condition. To be fair, Mask Form would have also killed all of those creatures as well. But Triple Black seems a lot more difficult than Triple Blue. Or, or Double Red, rather. Pass to attackers. Okay. Well. Not hitting Chandra is weird, because if we negative three Chandra again, like, you just don't, like, then we, we get to keep Chandra. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So we get Ori, and then we still have six mana, which means we can play Ominous Sea, Opt, and like a three mana card. Yeah, let's do that. So you have three floating, huh? Skew those critics! And then he's like, oh, now you're going to have Chandra again. That's right, my dude. Check out these fireworks. See, now Chandra will be dead, but me having Chandra on board is... Pretty good. Oh. 
I see. Well, that's immature, but okay. That was my win condition. Actually, I have a Chandra right here, so that's pretty good. If they play a creature, we bedevil it. That's not a creature, but could be good. Well, now we have no incentive not to cast this. Midnight. Oh, yeah, that's going to go. Oh, into the Royal Enchainer's Edict, huh? Enchainer's Edict, not as good. Oh, they're just going to concede. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the thing, I guess. Definitely bringing in Massacre Room here. Probably taking out Sublime Epiphany. What? Look at how weird Void Beckoner is. He doesn't even have a style here. What's that about, man? Working 12 hours a day is wild. Yeah, you've only been doing it for like three months now, man. Oh, this hand is very good if we get a, if we hit one land. <sighs> I don't like it. Yep, this one I like. Okay, so we got Canyon Slough. Blue. I think we just get rid of Island here. Yeah, all right. Oh, what up, kitty cat? Oh, yeah, this is a turn three spring into a turn four either escape or solemn, which is pretty sweet. Hmm, that's nice. Having a bunch of lands is nice, because escape to the wilds means you're always going to likely hit um, another land. Be able to cast a second land. Hmm, well, that's interesting. I don't think we need that yet. I think I'd rather just spring here. Um, what do we what do we need here? We got we got enough red for sure. We have enough green. We have enough blue. I think we just get a swamp because then it gives us three black, and we don't oh we don't have a third swamp. Ooh, I got a second green I guess. Got it. Is that a... Is that a oh, damn, where are my swamps at? Can't even get it with Solemn here? Um, I'm pretty sure we're just going to escape here because it puts us... It gives us another land to play. Maybe? Actually, Solemn's pretty good, too. I think I want Solemn for the blocks. Oh, they're going to alpha too, so we can block the Ministrant. Oh, maybe we just block... Actually, let's just block the Cruel Celebrant. I mean, I'd rather get this off the board in case we want to wipe later. I don't know if that attack was that great. I feel like it had to be done to flip the... I see. Yep, that's pretty good. So we get to play two lands. Savai Triome is probably going to be one of them, along with one of our pathways, which means we have two mana up. We're probably going to disfigure this on their turn, except we don't have a black source that we can do that with. We could go land, land, prism disfigure, which is actually pretty good. And next time we can just play Triome. 
Oh, I didn't actually mean to hit blue, but I guess that's fine. Uh, let's go no attacks here. Yeah, okay. So next time we can play Triome. Dis we're gonna disfigure, we can play Chandra. Plus two on Chandra. Oh yeah, we're definitely killing this guy in response. Do we have an answer for Divine Visitation? I'm not sure, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, this is actually great. <laughs> Though this is kind of funny, right? One, two, three, four. We can go Chandra into Chandra. Or do we just play into the Royal here? It's my turn. We might just want to enter the Royal. Draws us a card. I don't think we need to wipe yet. Add to... Do we have double blue? Yes, we do. Okay. We don't if we do this, though. Oh, my God. I hate this. I hate the auto-tapper so much. Lucky day. Oh, we got Prism. Ha ha! Yeah! Prism! Yeah! Well, that was a hell... That was a turn, right? Oh, my God, we can lay claim? Yeah, no attacks. Does it love you back, though? God damn it, Michael. Nothing loves Sammy. Why? 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 Sometimes you want to go where Michael B knows your name, and Michael B is glad you came. Are they all going as Chandra? Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. hmm. Antibody, thank you for the gift sub again, buddy. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. You guys are friggin' fantastic. You guys keep me alive. I don't understand. Take my money. Oh, Sammy, five Disney bucks. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Wait, what? Wait, what? What the f wait, this was already in my graveyard, right? Why is this up here? Is that a bug? It was the land? Wait, why did that pop up, though? Am I missing something? Am I actually a moron right now? I don't understand what's happening. Ever see a volcano erupt in person? You're about to make some more room to fight in. My dog got so excited when that happened. <laughs> I'll draw a card. Do I have mana for this? One, two, three. I do! Oh man, I'm midnight clocking all day. Oh, they're gonna make a one one. Man, that seems better if you had divine vis visitation out. It's a bug, but we are all morons when it comes to arena. Fair. 
a valid point. You want to go where everybody knows your name. Do -do 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 -do. Troubles are all the same. You would like to go where Michael B knows your name. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, kill the Chandra. That can kill you. Interesting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have ten, eleven mana here, huh? I'm really tempted to steal this. I don't have any way to make tokens, though, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have 11 mana. Five, six, seven, eight. And then we can bedevil as well. You know what? I mean, I don't know if this was great, but I feel like with when they have... Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. They're getting a little sweaty. Um, we do have, we do have Bedevil Mana, right? Let's see what we got here. Oh, it was a land? You're going down. I'm just doing it now so that they don't have any, like, shenanigans. I like the ones with the sounds and the singing. Those are good ones, Sammy. I, I support it. Oh, see, that's a good card. Oh, but we get to copy it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's kind of funny. They didn't have anything to revolt? Interesting. Okay. Well, we can actually go negative Chandra to kill all their guys. And then they get to embalm this. So I kind of want to mythos it, to be honest with you. And fight this guy, and then steal this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, pay with the greed. Uh, done. I will choose. Oh shit. Oh shit, that was the fuck. Oh. I hate it. I just oh my god. Give me this thing again. Oh my god, I'm so mad. This will be easy. What's the card? What it Where is it? Uh, we got one, two, yeah, cast it. What? I could I not cast, why couldn't I cast it? Was it this? Why didn't you cast it? What is happening in this game? Let's get toasty. Why didn't you cast it? I don't understand why you didn't... I'm really confused. I think that would have been a fucking game, like, altering play. Having a third... Sh not We would have also had third, thir three Chandras on the board. Is that not good enough? Three Chandras. My god. You got it. I have one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven untapped mana, and a, a sink in case I need a fourth red. <laughs> it's almost as if they don't pay them well. I take it seriously. Should have cast the split. What, I mean, they, they didn't say the bug was going to prevent me from playing the cards, right? Because I didn't read that. Does having an Aftermath card in my graveyard prevent me from playing the cards that Chandra reveals? Okay. Man, this Divine Visitation that we can't take advantage of would have been real good for them. Okay. I mean, I have this Chandra on board. I don't understand. Pass two attackers. You got it. Okay. All right. Sounds good. That'll do, pig. That'll do. And now it's dead. How did you look at three cards? What are you saying right now? No, those were the that was the exiled pile. And the newest card in the exiled pile was the Chandra. I have no idea how she got there, so I have to assume that was what was revealed. So that was not no, that was not the revealed pile, that was just an exiled pile. Alright. For those who don't know, I stopped after round one. And now we're gonna play round two. With our sweet chromatic ori deck. All right. Oh, what up, Monsonster? Land, land. Ominous Sea. Yeah, this hand seems actually pretty good. Oh, this is gonna be it's gonna be a fight now. Uh, I'm I want lands here, so that's good. Oh wow, this is aggressive. Guess we're taking five. Oh, Woodland Cemetery is pretty nice, actually. I think it's just Ominous Sea here, or we can into the Royal. Just turn three, we're gonna. God, is it worth taking two for that though? We can just opt two. I don't think it's worth taking two for that. Taking two for this just into the Royal is the same as not taking two. So we'll just opt, see what we hit. Or we can save opt, we don't really need it necessarily. Oh wow, their deck is very aggressive and I don't think we have a chance. This is how it went last time we drafted Chromatic Ori. Pass. Resolve. Yep, I guess we're taking six here. Why no Vintage Cube? Because Vintage Cube is supreme, and it's not good. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I don't think we're going to live, so that's okay. We take at least four next turn. What do we want here? We have three black sources. One green, two green, red, red. Blue, blue. We actually have everything. Um, let's get another blue, I guess. And maybe they're out of lands, huh? They 
did have a land. One, two, three, four, five, seven mana. Seven damage, rather. I think we're dead. Uh, have you checked out Supreme? Yes, I've actually, I did, I, I have to keep answering this. I did vintage Supreme Cube drafts back when they were uh, available through PAX online. And they were not, they were not ideal. I, I did not personally enjoy them that much. That's a little late to the party. And uh, we're going to concede. Sounds good. The funny thing is Lotus Petal, they still have Chandra on board. So it's kind of like, meh. Yikes. Do you have any creatures we can add? Warkite, Brain Maggot. Sublime is late. Lay Claim is not great here. We're going to keep... Maybe maybe cut the Chromatic Ori as well. Let's bring in Shadow Spear for the lifelink. Warkite. Brain Maggot. I think this is probably... Maybe we take out Ominous Seas for Massacre Worm. Happy seven days until toilet day, Mr. Smellman. I have no idea what that means. I'll definitely keep this hand, though. Oh, fashion lily to the party, I see. Um, well, I guess actually we wouldn't have played it on turn one because of reasons. Reasons, obvious. No. <sighs> About to wrap. He's going to love the way he looks. Oh, that doesn't work. Michael guarantees it. Okay, that's what we're looking for here. So now we can play a red source. Um, We have single red. We want double red for Chandra. Yeah, I'll just get another. Actually, it doesn't matter because we have Dryad, so... But I also don't want to assume Dryad's just going to live forever, so. Oh! Yeah, alright, sure. You got it. That's unfortunate, but. Oh, it's old Captain Lannery Storm. I'm tempted to just kill this. I think that's correct, right? I mean, we can deal two to this. Or we can negative three, and that, that's just worse Planeswalker value. I'm not going to attack because I don't feel like we're going to win through having one Dryad on the board. And they seem to have a decent amount of haste creatures, including, like, Chandra. Okay. I loved it. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny, I guess. Um, Let's get toast. All right, well. See, this is what I was afraid of. Oh, boy. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter because Dryad couldn't have blocked anyway, so. Where is Mike B? Mike B is literally in the chat right now. You can speak to him as you speak.
I mean, you can kill Awakened Inferno. In the mm, okay, not exactly what I would have done, but... Do they have six mana, so they can just get this guy back next turn? That's pretty bad. One, two, three. We can play Lantern and also play Mythos. I mean, I think we still lose Chandra here. But then we could just get to eat Earthshaker Kenra. It's not terrible. And we also have a higher life total. This is just each opponent or... Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it doesn't kill Chandra, so. Yep. Like, is it worth trading their 4-4 for our Chandra? That's the question. It was not, apparently, which is pretty sweet. Seems good. And we play land. Oh, what? I'm gonna bottom that guy. I don't know who that is. So. Wow, I didn't know you can play lands. Hold up, what? You may play those cards exiled this way. Oh, because the Dryad! Oh, yeah, that's great. I'm a big fan of that. Um, we're gonna no attacks here. <clears throat> oh yeah, that was, I was like, wait, why can I play this? Oh, the Dryad. If someone gifted 50 subs, we'd turn the thank you alert off. If they wanted me to do that, for sure I would. Warkite was actually pretty great for us because it let Hazaret uh, turn it into a zero zero, and we could shoot it. Okay, that's also pretty good. Interesting. Can you hear me? So none of these are in my hand either. So Hazaret is still able to do the deed. Uh, we're just gonna air tapped here. I, I don't I don't think it's worth taking two damage just so I can uh so I can opt this turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. We can like we can still play all of these next turn. And I feel like we're way far ahead right now.
Okay, sounds good. Well, our sideboarding seemed fine, but then again, they had a worse start in game two than they did in game one. Staggering Insights also sweep, but we don't have any white sources, so... Just, just hope we can get lucky, I guess. Um, Disfigure and Chainer's Edict? Yeah, that's fine. Oh, look, we got a white source. Dang it, we could have splashed the Staggering Insight. Well, this guy does get a hit in, but... No, oh, Bedevil? That's unfortunate. It's like the perfect hand to have used that with. I can't imagine they have a pump spell. So. Ooh, would I rather kill that? Probably. I'm actually going to skewer the critics this guy because if they play like Hazard, I do want to be able to keep Chainer's Edict for it. Or that guy. Yep, that is also the... Oh, wow, that was a great draw. Oh, what up, Samuel boy? Sammy. 1-1 one, one monkey. You got it. So now we just get to play Chandra and kill one of these things? Oh, they get to they get to skewer the crit? Does that work? Looks like it do. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care about that. Okay. Let's go spring. What do we need here? We have triple black, which is nice. We have triple blue. One green, double red. Let's just get another green. I wish I had like a Lyra or something. Got it. Going face here. That's fine. Okay, that's a draw. good intervention I guess doesn't really matter they're not gonna have to they're gonna have to like I 
Like, they're gonna have to destroy this, and then also have, like, land. This game's going well, I think. We can also draw three cards of Chandra next turn with seven lands in hand, or seven mana. It's pretty good. Sure, kill the Marauder. Yep, I mean, I assumed you'd do that, which is why I literally put the Shadow Spear on the other guy. So now I don't have to invest the mana next turn. You got it. Deal. Just kill all of these guys, though, you know? Like, I can literally, like, shoot this guy, kill this guy. I mean, or we can plus Chandra and hope that we hit... I guess we can... I guess we have Chainer's Edict either way, right? So... Okay, that was not ideal, especially after we played a land. <laughs> Seven, sure. Well, that's not actually great here, unfortunately, because we know they have Chandra in hand. Yep, that's terrible, too. That was not a nice turn. One, two, three, we have them. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, getting rid of the Hellhound is actually better because I, I, I want them to not have the option to use this guy. So their whole hand is like blank. Unless they want to kill the Experimental Frenzy. You got it. I got haste. Or where's my mask for him? Well, we'll play this now because we can actually mitigate what we draw. Um, do we want a Karn? Actually, maybe. I gotta do four to this? Sure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We can play Solemn and... We're definitely playing Karn. I mean, this is on 10 right now, so... Oh, it's on 11, so on our turn we just get to draw 7. So it's in our best interest to try to just survive. They could kill this and then play a braid. And then have th four mana left over. Mike B walk down the full yep that's what I figured they do I feel like a braid is coming the answer my friend
I mean, if they can kill both my guys, they deal five. We go to one. What does this guy do? I mean, we knew that was coming for sure. Do we draw a card? Because we're just going to discard it. Yeah, that's fine. Doesn't matter. Alright, we're taking four. And clocking it up. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can go... One, two, three, four. Play a land. Can we do this first? One, two, three, and then we have two left over. No, we want to play uh, Brain Maggot and... Oh, I guess we can play Chandra. In... No, we want to play Brain Maggot and Equip, right? So... Uh, Hazaret and Phoenix. Well, Phoenix would kill us. So, I'll, oh, I guess Hazard also kills us. Well, that's pretty sad. Wow, that's really... Wow, they had two cards that actually just get to kill us. That is unfortunate. Yep. Had to be at two, huh? Maybe they don't see it. I don't, I mean, then we're dead. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, this is how the first time we went with when I played Chromatic Rory as well. We, we won the first game handily. Uh, our deck seemed amazing, and then we just lost the second and third rounds. So we'll see if that plays out the same way, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's a keeper. We're missing a red source, but we got time. So that's going to be good next turn. Okay. That'll hit a red. Mm. Love planeswalkers. I will guard your advance. I mean, if we can top deck a red source that comes into play untapped. <gasps> oh! That is a good one. I have to assume they block here, yeah, for sure. But it gets us a card. And it was going to die anyway. 
They do gain some life, but... Just making sure neither of these are elementals. I'm Chandra, the Immolation Sensation. Are you going to have... Do you have God's Willing in hand? Oh, protection. See, that's a good ability. This makes them more room to fight in. That's worse. I always forget about that thing. Also, Mutual, I don't know... Uh, I don't have the second mic set up right now, so... I'm not sure how that's going to work, my dude. Okie dokie. Well... So we can go clock into Mythos, right? It's not gonna fight, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> and let's get rid of Basri Ket. And what can we get back? We can back Solemn. They can get back Alcide. Sure, that's fine. Basri Cat was the real issue. Well, that's also not great, but we have a devil, I guess. Heroes, rally to me. So next time we can go Ori into... Oh, well, this is going to make it nine, so I guess we can only go Chandra? Eh. She's at three? And then you just get her back with this anyway, so that seems bad. Uh, one, two, three, four, and then, like, next turn, until, it's, it's until your next turn, right? Um, so I do think we play this for four, and then we just play Bedevil on their turn. Yeah, let's do that. Nice. And the turn. All right. I cannot escape your failures. Sure, get your little Alcid back. See, now this guy's smaller anyway, and we can shoot it with our Chandra next turn, so. I mean, presuming nothing goes in the graveyard for them. Nothing did. Fascinating. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, yeah, let's solve some lacrim, I guess. What do we need here? Um, we have one, two, three black. Uh, one, two, three, four blue. Red, red. Green, green. Whatever. I don't think it necessarily matters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can play Ori, and then we have six mana, so we can go Chandra and shoot this guy. Oh, I guess because they're just going to make it bigger. Well, it still gets one of them off the board, I guess. And this guy's a 3-3, so we should be able to block it. Yeah, they're just going to save it again. Man, this Alcide is really obnoxious. It's a thing. We have escaped to the wilds. We're okay. Yeah, I'm 100% blocking one out with four life. 100%. Hmm. Well. Oh boy, Chainer's Edict would be great here if they didn't have these two guys on the board that were all so big. Um... 
turn a non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Yikes. Don't love any of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. So we can go Dryad into Epiphany into Shoot Something. Wish we had another land to play. Alright, we're gonna go return a permanent, create a token, draw a card. Uh, target a non-land permanent, target creature control, target player. Alright, well, that wasn't the best turn, but they do have to replay Immortal Sun, and we can double block this guy if they want to. <laughs> Fucking Christ. Just kidding. Yep, no blocks. Wow, these are a lot of lands we got here. Can't activate Karn. Our hand is actually terrible right now, so that's unfortunate. We have no basics. Four cards is a four? Okay, so she's one of the four. Well, we're at nine here. Can we pump this up? How many how much how much mana do we have? We got three, so we can put it up to ten this turn. Negative on that Ghost Rider. Done with that. Might as well play everything, because next turn we are going to... Let us begin. Uh, no attacks here. I'm at three. I don't really want them to like do some shenanigans. Next turn we're going to draw seven, so... Yeah, when I play Immortal Sun, I try to not have any uh, any Planeswalkers that I'm going to like... Because they're just dead draws once you have Immortal Sun. But the problem... The thing is, Immortal Sun is so good that like sometimes it doesn't matter. Like You can just shut off a, a Planeswalker and be fine. So they have one card in hand, and we get to draw seven. I mean, that seems very good. And we have Immortal Suns, so we get to draw eight. Plus the draw for the turn, so nine. Yeah, I had a feeling they were just going to replay this. But hopefully we can find an answer in the top seven cards. That card's very good. Wait, did they not activate Elspeth? Interesting. Oh, this is... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Kraken time, boys. We have seven cards in our deck? Oh, Jesus. Well, I guess we should try to win, huh?
Boy, our, our planeswalkers, it would be a lot, this, this, I feel like this match would be a lot better if we had more planeswalkers to, uh, to activate. Seven cards. So we have, like, four turns here. I mean, we have Ominous, and we have Ovoya, Ovia, so. Cast two attackers. Make a gun. Can we do anything else? I'm not going to opt here because seven cards. Into the royal. Decline. Might as well play a land. So we can keep up into the royal and activate this to make 5-5. Five, five. That seems good. Sure, I don't care about that. I think we're also bounce, just going to bounce our lay claim. No, we're going to bounce the immortal sun, I think. Because then we can activate our planeswalkers. You can have that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're like, oh, you can activate your planeswalkers now. I see. We're definitely bringing in Massacre Room. I mean, I wish I had a better way to deal with uh, artifacts. Man, stealing Mortal Sun while dangerous was pretty good. This is a match where I feel like Sublime Epiphany could be good. They have a Mortal Sun, which I want to. Oh, Bedevil does do it. That's a good point, actually. I kind of want Brain Maggot, too. Like, I feel like that match, we almost ran out of threats. But Chandra and Chandra have been just doing work. Like, this Chandra just basically almost kills a creature every turn. I'm going to take out Skewer. I think we'll take out Ominous Sea, even though it did uh, do some decent work. I think we can also take out, like, Opt. It's just worse than Prism in the deck. Um, I'll keep this and just hope that they're not super aggressive. That's fine unless they play Basri next turn, in which case I'm going to be real sad. whenever it deals combat damage? Sure. They didn't plus Basri? Ooh. 
we'll just take three. Yeah, I'll take three here. Oh, uh, you get an emblem they're gonna combat. Oh, they're just gonna Oh, they're gonna proliferate and use it. That's interesting. Oh boy. Well, I don't like that. That's probably just game winning, right? Um So I'm actually tempted after they proliferate to bounce the Basri. And then they replay it. He goes to three instead. Resolve that. Fucking amazing. Cool. Yep, can't beat that. Cool, I wanted to fucking after that resolve before the end of combat. That's why I literally had combat damage selected. I guess that's not how you do it. Cool. Sweet. It's really obnoxious. I'm just bringing this guy in because it blocks stupid 1-1 one -one flyer. That was, wow, that was amazing. That was actually incredible. I feel like you fucking need a degree from MIT to know how this fucking client works and how to actually play a turn. Sure. Temple should help us find additional lands. I think that's probably fine. We just want to get up to Bedevil, I think. Or up to Solemn Simulacrum. Okay. Well, we can't Bedevil here, so we might as well play this, see what we hit. Maybe it's a tap land. It's a wooded woodland cemetery. Next turn, we can solemn for a blue source, because now we do have pretty much all the money we need. Uh, yes. Island, for sure. So next turn, we can Chandra. Doesn't do much against this guy. Or we can play Warkite, but Devil. That's probably better. Yeah, I don't care about the 2-2. Two -two. If our goal is to work at this, I'm probably just going to take four here. Or uh, if our goal is to bedevil that, rather. Don't care. Immortal Sun seems very good. Yeah, I'll take the Immortal Sun from you. You can still collect it, company, which is fine. But they would just play Immortal Sun this turn anyway, so... You got it. Seems fine. Um, I still think no blocks is correct, because this guy just does take one of these guys down. I mean, now Chandra just eats their whole board, right? Like, I mean, Collected Company's good, but... They could whiff, too, so... Interesting. Just block one, take one. Not sure I understand that. Now I do. <laughs> we did it. Oh man, we did it. That's real good. Alright.
I'm just gonna draw a card here because it's only a 1-1. Oh, they're gonna give me a Botanical Sanctum. Which I will immediately play. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, this this turn they're literally probably just gonna play Immortal Sun and then we're just gonna literally steal it, so. Stealing it's not as great because we lose our Planeswalker abilities, but... I mean, it's still 1-2-3 and then we have 1-2-3-4-5-6. All our stuff is one cheaper too. Don't hit Rex Sage or Night of Autumn. Don't do it. No, I don't care about either of those. That guy doesn't fly, interestingly enough. Uh, that's in my hand. I am going to attack. Make this an 0-1. And I'm probably going to skewer... Three damage to any target for one, right? Hokey dokey. Um, let's play Sulphur Falls. Let's play River Glide Pathway as probably. Oh, they're just gonna scoop. <laughs> All right. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you guys for watching. Two one. Chromatic Ori has redeemed itself in my eyes. Be sure to follow or subscribe on Twitch. Both of those things help me out a ton, and it's a great way to support the channel. You get notifications when I go live, and you get to know that you're contributing to the livelihood and the well-being of a content creator who brings joy to your life. And isn't that the most important thing? But definitely, seriously, consider subscribing or, or supporting the channel in other ways. And I will see you guys next time. It's really loud. Thank you guys for watching.